No more of that. Okay. So now on the last one, this is the most important though. This is actually what you guys are going to be doing today in class, if you guys can get to it. I haven't had a class get to it though yet. So now we're given two points. They want us to write the equation of the line between two points. So again, if we're writing the equation of line, we want the equation to be in the format of y equals mx plus b, correct? So to write in that format, we need to know what the slope is and what the y-intercept is, correct? Okay. Between given two points, can we find the slope? Yes. yes, we know the slope formula, right? m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So we can just label this as x1, y1, x2, y2. Go ahead and do this. You have 4 minus a negative 1 over negative 3 minus 2. What? Yeah. What? 4 minus 2, did I switch those up? Thank you, sorry. 4 minus 2, and that's negative 3 minus a negative 1. Right? OK, the slope actually ends up being the same, weird, oddly. So 4 minus 2 is 2. Negative 3, no, it's not. Negative 3 minus 1, right? Negative 3 minus a negative 1. That becomes a negative 2. OK, so now we have the slope, right? Now the next thing we need to do is figure out what the y-intercept is. So we could go back and use the point-slope form. Perfectly fine. If you like that way and that's the way you've done it before, use it. I know some people, though, point-slope form confuses them. And they just like to stick with the slope-intercept form. So I'll go over it this way as well. So slope-intercept form is kind of like what we did over here. If you know what the slope is, x and y represent a point, and b represents the y-intercept. So all we've got to do is pick points to plug in for x and y. Well, you have two of them. So just pick which point you'd like to pick to plug in there. So hmm, let's pick the first point, negative 1, 2. So I'll plug that in for y and that in for x. So I have, instead of y, I'll plug again 2 equals m is negative 1 times x, which is negative 1, and then plus b. Because remember, we're trying to figure out b. So all I did is I plugged in the values for y, m, and x. Then negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. Subtract 1, subtract 1. I get 1 equals b. So now I know what b is, and I know what m is. So my equation is y equals negative x plus 1. Yes, did I make a mistake again? No, I was just Okay. If you use either point. Yes, it'll be exactly the same. Okay. So that, that's why sometimes it gets confusing. That's why um, point slope form, it might be helpful. Some people like this because if you label two points, x1, y1, x2, y2, you would say, oh, well, I'll just plug in x1 and y1, right? But it really doesn't matter. You could use x2 and y2. It's going to be exactly the same. OK? Yes? Be the slope formula? Is it just? OK. Is, do I, I'll leave, I'm not going to erase it. It's going to be up there. And you guys are actually going to move into some different seats here in just a second anyways.